Hello my fellow researchers and welcome to video 2 in this partial correlation video series. And in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the partial correlation between two variables while controlling for a third variable using SPSS. Now if you've watched the first video in this video series, you'll remember that we calculated a bivariate correlation coefficient value between A and B equal to 0.86. And then when we controlled for variable Z, our third variable, we obtained a partial correlation coefficient of negative 1 between variables A and B. So remember these numbers, 0.86 when we're not controlling for Z, and then negative 1 when we did control for Z. So I'm going to bring up our SPSS window, and this data you'll notice is exactly the same. Um, exactly the same. Okay, so just to make sure we, you know, we expect that we're going to get the same answer. Now to conduct the partial correlation SPSS, I'm going to go to Analyze, and I'm going to go to Correlate. And then I'm going to choose Partial. And here I'm going to select the two variables that we want to uh, uh, determine the coefficient between. And we want to control for variable Z. So I'm going to throw variable Z into the controlling for box. Okay, I'm going to choose options and here I'm going to click zero order correlations because what, what that's going to show us is essentially the bivariate correlations between each of these possible relationships uh, when not controlling for anything. And so we're going to be able to see, you know, we're going to be able to compare the partial correlation coefficient between A and B with the the Pearson correlation coefficient between A and B. So I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to hit OK. And our output window pops up and now you'll notice that in this column right here it says none and then it says Z. So control variables. So when we're not controlling for anything, right? this is our regular bivariate Pearson correlation coefficient matrix. And you'll recognize immediately that uh, if we look at A and B, we get a correlation coefficient of 0 0.86, exactly what we, what we would expect. Again, here is B and A, just the same information, uh, 0 0.86, just to confirm. Okay, and it's, it's significant, very significant, clearly. Now, in this section right here, where it says control variables Z, you can see that when we control for Z, the relationship between A and B is negative 1, or we get a, a partial correlation value, okay, correlation of negative 1, which is a, a perfect negative linear correlation. So no surprise, right? That th These are the same numbers that we, we calculated when we did our, our pen and paper method, right? 0 0.86 and negative 1. And just to confirm as well, you'll see between B and Z, was 0.96 and between A and Z was 0.96. Let's just make sure that's correct. Oh yeah, here we are. Between A and Z, 0.96. Between B and Z, 0.96. Right, so everything matches what we did with our pen and paper. That's great. Now, let's do a, a quick uh, graph of this. Okay, so remember we go to Chart Builder. I'm gonna choose the scatter. I'm gonna throw in the scatter plot box here. I'm gonna put A in the x-axis and B in the y-axis. I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see again our, our scatter plot. So that's how you conduct a partial correlation in SPSS. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. If not, stay tuned for my next video in this video series. Cheers.